back to another video and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a Himalayasaurus. I mean I mostly started on this video, I just wanted to kind of show it off. So first, here's the head, which is made with my normal jaw technique. Then the body's just bottles with some um, foil wrapped around. You have the proper shape and the tail is completely foil. I have not attached the fins, but I'll show off that later. I mainly wanted to show one of my more recent projects I've worked on a few and what will be revealed later. Such as this guy right here, and this one right here. But stay tuned for the rest of this creature's build. And here is our somewhat complete Himalayasaurus. It's been coated in hot glue, and also all the appendages, appendages have been attached. And all we have to do is paint, and then seal in that paint, and it will be done. Here's the first part of the paint job. And here are the final results of our Himalayasaurus. This is it all painted up. And yeah, let's take a little bit of a closer look. So first of, let's just get a little bit better view on the head. Angle my light down a little bit. So first, here's the head. Nice eye detailing. Plenty of teeth. Go down the bottom. I gave it a few scars on the fins just for some extra detailing but if you go on to the other side there's actually much more scarring on this side than on the other side I guess I kind of forgot to add a lot of scars on the other side but you can also see quite a few on the face one up here and a few on the fins and some minor ones on the tail But yeah, that is our Himalayasaurus. It's much bigger than my Leviathan, which it's quite a bit longer, as you can see. And my Leviathan is actually probably my second largest, well, third largest now, because there's another figure I've not showed you guys, but might get a um, reveal in a soon upcoming video. But yeah, here's it compared to my Leviathan. And here's it with my Dinotherium, which it looks kind of crazy compared to. Plus here is it with all of my Triassic period animals, because I think Himalayasaurus is from the Triassic, though I cannot remember. It might be from the Jurassic, I could be wrong about that, but anyways, here's it compared to all my Triassic period creatures. And here's it with a few of, of the Jurassic World Aquatic creatures. And here's it compared to the Dino Tracker's Elasmosaurus. And Jurassic World Plesiosaurus, and you guys probably know what's going to be last. And of course, to top this review off, we have the Mosasaurus, which this thing, though you can't really tell too well, is very big compared to it. I'm probably going to have to put it in a better position for you guys to tell. I've put them in a better position, and they're pretty much the same length. Well, if, if the Mosasaurus's tail was completely straight, it might have been a bit longer, but in this position, they look about the same length, but the Mosasaurus is much taller. And yeah, that's it for my Himalayasaurus. Okay, I know I said I was going to end it off with the Mosasaurus, but first I want to compare it to every single Ichthyosaur figure I have. I don't have very many. So first we have my Ichthyosaurus that came in the Safari Tube. And it is tiny compared to it. To be honest, this is not the best Ichthyosaur, since it's really skinny and Ichthyosaurs were usually very chunky. But this isn't the only first one. Then this... One is actually the first crafting video ever posted to my channel, posted probably at the, close to the beginning of my channel. Probably, um, you guys might be able to check the um, Making Dinosaurs playlist, but if it's not in there, I'll try to add it to there soon. And then one I made before that one was an Ophthalmosaurus, which I didn't really show. I just kind of made it as a fun project. And it's the only one that kind of matches up to this one. But otherwise, this is the largest ichthyosaur I've created. There were plenty. Originally, I was going to make a Shonasaurus or a Shastasaurus, but then I watched a video and it got me inspired to make this guy instead. And yeah, the Shonasaurus and Shastasaurus I might make one day, but till then, this is going to be my giant Ichthyosaur. Another thing I would recommend doing if you do make this, I recommend to also go watch my Making Ammonites video, because those would go very well with this. And I'll. Hopefully we'll be able to put a link to a video of what inspired me to make this. And another thing, 
I almost did not make this video due to the fact that I made a couple of projects without filming them recently. And I just was kind of starting up on this one and decided to just record parts of it. So sorry for it not being that long, but it should give you enough to make your own um, Himalayasaurus. And I will see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.